All right, today we react to Somi's Dum Dum. Make sure you guys go check out the analysis video if you guys want in depth of what makes this choreography dope. Anyways, let's get right into it. Okay, I know about Somi because I watched Sister Slam Dunk season two with Max. I fucking loved that show. It was so feel good and felt so pure. Uh, and it's really cool seeing her as an artist, you know, uh, beyond the show. I think she already had her own career going on already, but it's, it's just cool, you know, seeing people after that. I don't know. I love this backdrop. That was cute. That was like cute musicality right there. That was cute too. Cute. Nice. Oh. I don't know if I can that flexible. <laughs> That's a complete vibe change, man. Went from like super cutesy to super fierce and badass. Ooh, I love that. This song is like, I feel like the epitome of like, get you a partner that can do both. Be cute but ba and badass. <laughs> Ooh. This choreography is great too. It like it matches everything. I mean obviously you want all your choreography to match. <laughs> Our bangles. <laughs> I love this moment, man. I love the bouncy movements. Subtle powerful right there. Nice dynamic there. Nice. Dang, she is a fire performer. So just initial impressions. This is kind of like a full on performance thing already since it's a choreography dance video. But the first thing that really stands out to me is nothing. I hate it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> is how great her energy is and her performance is. She's infectious, I would say. And what I love about this choreography, it's not overkill, it matches the vibe because it gives enough space for her to own her energy and her moments. I absolutely love that because sometimes when I see some of these videos, I feel like the choreography possibly wins the artist because it's so hard that they focus on obviously the singing, but the, sometimes the performance drops a little bit because they're dancing harder, but then now they got to focus on singing and then this, you know, you know, if that, I hope that's making sense. These artists are essentially mul like multitasking and when you're doing one more than the other, you know, there's gonna be a trade-off. Uh, and I think the very clever choices of the choreography here, I love the different vibes throughout the whole thing. It felt like they somehow interweaved two different songs into one. Like, oh, we're gonna be super cute. Nah, just kidding, we're gonna, we're gonna fuck you up. All right, we're cute again. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> it's almost, you know, like, uh, the song almost felt like a Dr. Jekyll, was it Mr. Hyde kind of vibe? Like two different beings in one person. I love that moment in the choreography of this and then the groove, that like little body roll kind of groove. I feel stupid doing it. That was a moment right there. Like that's the kind of choreography that you want your fans to be able to do and just copy. Like, oh yeah, like that's some shit you can see them doing on TikTok to cover it and all that. 
So, yo, hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you'd like to see more reaction videos and maybe even some dance videos, make sure to check out my dance company, Temper Tantrum's channel. We do K-pop reaction videos as well on some of your favorite artists, along with some other amazing content that I think you guys will enjoy as well. I'm probably going to forget to add the link in the YouTube card, so the link is in the description down below. See you guys there. Yo, dancing in masks is rough, man. So, shouts out to them. Ooh. Damn, they went down to the floor work fast. Shouts. Nice. Nice little transition. I feel like she looks like a like Final Fantasy character from this. Does it? Like a dark version of Yuna. I think it's Yuna from Final Fantasy 10 or 12. Oh, fuck, I don't know anymore. Maybe it's 10. <laughs> clever. This is clever. The, glo the gloves are really clever because it's got adding a little bit more like just no notice the contrast between like their their skin and the very white gloves it adds a nice little effect it, though the backdrop does kind of take it away because this this backdrop is very is brightly lit Ooh, backdrops this backdrop is pretty sick for, sick for this one Let's go one glove. They have a clean as fuck for this take, these takes, man. They're, yeah, hella clean for this. Someone's glove about to come off? It looks like it. Girl on stage right or viewer left. Because look at those fingers flapping. Yeah, it looks like her, her glove is about to fall off. Commitment. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, it's, it's not like a crazy prop or uh, costume piece that's about to fall off, but like how close it was imagine it started slipping it off sooner and it actually came off I'm, i feel like just like from my own experience she it was like kind of slipping off already and she might have been fixing it throughout but i don't know love this i absolutely love this outfit by the way this is fire so the chat no one emroy final <laughs> final fantasy <laughs> <laughs> I love, I'm a fan of Final Fantasy. Like, I grew up on that shit. So, like, a lot of my references will come, probably come from that. So, because it reminded me of it. So, Darth Vader Couture. All right, so that's it. If you want more, head on over here and do all the things, watch more. And if you want early, early access and if you want to request, make sure you become a patron. That's the only way I'm going to be handling requests. Uh, links down below. See you next time.